My name's Seb and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your VS Code terminal output from cluttered to clean. Let's go. So we've got our VS Code app open here and we got a simple print function that just says hello world as an example. So we go up here, run the file, and as you can see there's a ton of clutter before the actual hello world and we don't want that, it just looks unclean. We just wanted to print out hello world and there's a couple of methods of doing this but the ones I found online weren't really good for me because you couldn't actually use the input function. So just as an example, if we were to run this code again, uh, the input function asks for my name, I can enter it and it'll print it back out. So we want that functionality. And one way to do this is to go to the extensions. We're going to search the extensions for code runner. I know the other methods use this, but I'm going to do it a bit differently. And you're going to look for the code runner by Jun Han and click install. So that is installed. Now we can go to the settings of it by clicking either this cog or this cog here, and then going to extension settings. Now, once you're in the settings, you want to make sure clear previous output is not turned on. Uh, you want to scroll down until you find code runner run in terminal. So we want this checked. We want to leave this checked on because if we don't, then it's going to run in the console and the input function will not work. So we want to run it in the integrated terminal. So that's checked. We can leave it. We're all good. And we're going to scroll back up to code runner executor map. Now, this is the most important part. You want to click in, uh, edit in settings.json and we're going to enter a JSON file. And there's a lot of languages in here, but we're working with Python, so we're going to alter it here. We can see that upon launch, upon executing the code, it launches the Python, and we want to change that to first clear. So that'll delete everything from the output. And then we have to put two ampersands, and then we have clear and and Python dash u. Now I'm working with Python 3, and I don't want it to execute any earlier version, so I'm going to change that to Python 3 and click save. Now that it's saved, we can go up here, close out of settings.json, close out of the VS Code settings, and close out of the extension. And now if we go to our run file, we'll see a new thing here that says run code rather than run Python file. So that's the code runner, and we're going to click that, and there we go. Very clean, and let's just make sure our input function works. So I'll put seb, click enter, and there we go. Works like a charm. I hope you found the video helpful. I was actually searching for a solution to that for like the whole last week, and I spent far too many hours looking into it. I was just messing around with all the different settings until I kind of found a solution. Anyway, I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe. It helps my channel a lot. Uh, I'm planning on releasing a Python course for free on YouTube. Uh, it'll be kind of from beginner to advanced, so if that's something that interests you, yep, definitely subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe.